people. I got um, I got a couple things I want to talk to y'all about. Um, first, I want to talk about the 2DS. Of course, I want to talk about the um, Nintendo's E3. And, uh, of course, they're not going to do another presentation for, like, the fifth year in a row or something like that. And some people are in up in arms about it. I'm a little concerned about it. Like, I don't mind them doing digital events. But, you know, I'm going to talk about that about that next. Uh, first, I want to get this out the way. The 2DS, uh, Nintendo, they just recently announced that it's going to be a, a new 2DS. That's just, uh, that's just, you know, be honest. The new 2DS is really a new 3DS without the 3D. That's all it is. It's a new 3DS without the 3D elements. That's basically what it is. It's $150, and that's a really good deal. It's a really good sweet spot, and that's why Nintendo handhelds has always do really good because you know they got a lot of games, a really great gaming library, and they and a great price to pay um, for these these uh, handheld consoles. Uh, but I know a lot of people is kind of up in arms because of the Switch that just came out, and uh, a lot of people was wondering like. With all the support that the 3DS got over the Wii U, are we gonna do the exact same thing y'all y'all done doing um, uh, with the Switch uh, and with the new 2DS? And um, from what I'm hearing is that Nintendo's going to basically support this for the next couple of years. But let's just be honest and um, be blunt about it. I, I believe that the only way that Nintendo will kill the 3DS uh, slash 2DS is that the Switch has to sell a lot. I mean a lot. I'm not talking about 10 million, I'm not talking about 20 or 30, I'm talking about 50 million plus in order for them to stop support on the on the handhelds, uh, well, not handhelds, uh, on the 3DS, you know, that's the only way that I see it. As far as I know, the 3DS is around 65 or 66 million sold, so that's still a, a huge install base to continuously and, and make games for, and that's a smart business move. But at the same time, they just came out with another console in which it's a handheld. But um, a, lo a lot of people is wondering what is Nintendo plan on doing? Are they going to do the same thing like they did with the Wii U owners? Like they basically, uh, you know, give the Wii U owners just a little snippet of what the 3DS get, and the 3DS is basically just get just basically most of the games, and they get a really a, a great gaming line lineup. They, uh, when it comes to Nintendo Directs, the Directs are, um, you know, basically just about the 3DS and maybe a couple of games for the Wii U. Is Nintendo going to do the same thing with the Switch? And that's what got a lot of people concerned about this situation. I'm kind of neutral with that. I, I, like I say, I, I still think they're going to wait until the install base grows before they um, pull a plug on the uh, 3DS slash 2DS. And I'm pretty sure their investors would love for them to basically continuously and, and support it until their install base grows more on the Switch. So then they can focus uh, focus uh, solely on the Switch. Um, but by my opinion about this, um, the 3DS has been out for six years. And I, I don't know what else to say about it. Like, it's six years. That's a full generation. And I think it's time to pull the plug because that's a reason why... Nintendo basically merged both of their, their console and their handheld departments together. You know, they did that so they can focus solely on the Switch. Um, like I say, still don't know how long this is going to last. I'll say maybe another year, maybe two years. Um, it depends on how fast the Switch sells. And with the Switch being const uh, constrained with the freaking uh, shipments and people still having a hard time finding it, it's going to make the process even more difficult and more longer because not enough switches is it's getting no don't get me wrong a lot of switches is getting sold but it could be a lot better because Nintendo is not shipping enough to meet the demand that is the issue here and according to Nintendo there I think they're planning on shipping out I think either between 10 and 13 million by their next fiscal year that's March of 2018 and I think they can do a lot better than that if they can basically uh, keep up with the demand and the more consoles that they sell the more reasons to give Nintendo to pull the plug on the 3DS slash 2DS give more reasons for third-party developers to put third-party games on the Nintendo Switch or even multiplex on the Switch I know a lot of y'all gonna basically talk about well you, why you need multiplex on the Switch is inferior the graphics ain't all that the resolution not gonna be like the pro the, the uh, PlayStation Pro or the Xbox Scorpio like you know people think about the graphics and the resolution like 
I'm, I'm looking at the, 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 the huge picture here. I'm looking at the fact that you take this thing on the go. You can play anywhere you want. That is the huge selling point for this. And I think it's going to do really well. You know, that's why I think Nintendo needs to focus more on the Switch than the than the um, 3DS. And whenever the, uh, we had the Direct a couple of, what, two or three weeks ago, and uh, I feel that they still putting a lot more games on the 3DS than the, the Switch. And that's why I kind of had a, a problem with it because this, this Switch is it's not only your present, it's your future. And probably they, they might support this for maybe longer than a generation. Maybe their next console will be maybe a Switch 2. Maybe this might be Nintendo's uh, future for now on. It's going to be a, a handheld slash console for now on period because on how popular their handheld market is. So in order for Nintendo to basically grow on this, they need to pull the plug on what's keeping them from um, um, getting to that promised land. And that's the Nintendo 3DS. It has to go. Like it's been six years and enough is enough. I would say maybe one more year, maybe one more year, one more year for 3DS and that's it. And it's like this. If there is a Pokemon announcement at E3 and it's exclusive, to the 3DS slash 2DS, oh, oh my gosh, it's going to be, oh my god, it's, it's going to be a shit storm with Nintendo. Lots of Switch owners is going to be pissed because a lot of the reason why a lot of Switch, um, a lot, a lot of Switch consumers bought the Switch because the handheld uh, aspect and plus Pokemon, they will love their first HD Pokemon um, game and. If they focus on the 3DS, it's going to be a shit I'm trying to tell you. Don't get me wrong, a lot of 3DS people are going to be happy, but at the same time, a lot of 3DS owners bought a Switch because of a upgraded handheld. It's in HD, 720p. You get to take it on the go, or you get to take it, uh, play it at home in 1080. Like, it's a lot of great, promising things about the Switch, but if Nintendo could continuously and hold it back because of the 3DS, that's why I've been, you know, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy, and it's going to be a shit like I said, um, Right now, Nintendo's biggest competition is not Microsoft, not the PC market, uh, not uh, the Xbox. It's uh, it's Nintendo. They're competing with themselves, and that is not good. So, only like I said, only thing I could think about is that they're basically trying to wait until that install base grows a lot more. But at the same time, they need to ramp up the production a lot more than what they're doing because people are still having a hard time finding a switch and that is not good people because the, the, the lesser this install base is going to uh, be uh, less likely we're going to get third parties on board less likely you know a lot of those uh, Nintendo 3DS games that we want on the switch is going to stay on the 3DS that's just my theory you know I know a lot of some of y'all got your own opinions it's just my theory but like I say man it could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing but I'm not going to judge until E3 comes yeah, and uh, speaking of E3, let's go ahead and just just talk about that. Um, I guess with the announcement that uh, Nintendo is basically going to do another digital, they didn't say digital event, but they're not going to do a live press conference like a traditional press conference in which Sony and Microsoft does all the time. Uh, Nintendo is going to uh, this is going to be fifth straight, I believe it's fifth straight year that they're not going to do it. And I didn't like, I know I was kind of pissed off about that uh, these past few years didn't really give a damn about the last year because Nintendo just didn't give a fuck but this year I'm kind of frustrated this Nintendo Switch is your future uh, you know, this Nintendo Switch has a lot to prove uh, they don't have to do a press conference next year but this year is very pivotal this year is key um, like people, the world the world is going to going to want to know what is going to be on the Nintendo Switch well, it's going to want to know, would it be Pokemon, would it be Metroid, like, there's a lot of games that we would like to know. We already know that the Nintendo Digital Event is always short, like 40 to 45 minutes. And with the announcement with the new 2DS, that means going to be a lot more support for the 2DS or 3DS. So, how are they going to, how are they going to do this with this Digital Event? Maybe 20 minutes of 3DS and 20, 25 minutes of the Switch? That is a no-no. No, no, no. No. I want this to be... Focus solely on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, like, if this is a 45-minute show, 
I don't know what to say. Like, they got a lot of explaining to do within 20 to 25 minutes because we know how they feel about the 3DS. It's going to get a lot of shine. They're going to be focusing a lot on the 3DS. That, that just, that's just what I'm seeing right here, people. If this conference is 45 minutes, then I'm going to have a huge problem. If it's over an hour, maybe an hour and a half, like what Sony and Microsoft uh, do, I'm fine with that because they're they telling us they got a lot to show us. A lot to show us. But 45 minutes and we got two consoles to talk about, it's not enough, man. It's not enough. I want to know about third-party support. I want to know about the future support with the Switch, not only for this year, next year and beyond. I want to know, are we going to have Call of Duties? Are we going to have uh, freaking... Um, Overwatch. A lot of people is complaining about Overwatch not on the, the Nintendo Switch. It makes sense to be on the Nintendo Switch because you take that on the go, like it's it makes perfect sense. What about Rocket Rocket League? Like that makes sense as well too. There's a lot of third party games that make sense on the Nintendo Switch just because of the handheld um, aspect to it. Like how, like how how this gonna work? That's what that's why I would love for them to do a press conference because it give us more time. For them to explain what is going on the Switch, uh, but we already know about the 3DS thing. I don't, you know, I want to keep on sounding like a broken record about that. Like 45 minutes and two different systems, it's not enough. So they didn't confirm on how long this uh, conference, what digital event is going to be. They, you know, they didn't tell the uh, duration um, of this. But right now, a lot of people is concerned. But according to Takahashi, uh, he's basically saying there's a lot more unannounced games. Are going to come to the Nintendo Switch. I know there's more rumors about the Mario slash Rabbit crossover game. Like, like I'm like I'm telling y'all guys, just don't panic yet. Let's just wait for more uh, um, Nintendo news to come about. And and basically, you know, we got like what another month, um, about four or five more weeks until E3, and uh, it's, it's coming around the corner, people. It's coming around the corner. And I'm not going to judge until E3 gets here. Um, if there's more. Uh, 3DS talked in Switch, then y'all can get y'all pitchforks and uh, and ride outside the Nintendo headquarters. So <laughs> that's basically all I gotta say, people. Like you know, I'm not gonna judge until after E3. Uh, I want this Switch to be basically 80%, at least 80% of the conference. I don't want no 50, 50, no no 50% 3DS, 50% Switch. I want 80% Switch and 20%. 3ds but i kind of doubt that but um i guess y'all guys just let me know how y'all feel about this do y'all think that the digital event's gonna be 45 minutes and if it is 45 minutes or y'all gonna to be concerned because y'all know how nintendo is with their 3ds they always give it the give it the spotlight more than their uh, home console and y'all let me know how y'all feel about the 2ds situation do y'all think it was a bad a bad thing um you know why they still coming out with another iteration of the 3ds the 3ds has been out for over six years so like i know there's a lot of 3ds fans out out there um but like i said y'all just give me y'all thoughts and y'all feelings on how y'all feel about that uh like i'm subscribed to this channel follow me on, on uh, google plus and twitter and once again it's your boy again 27 y'all have a good day peace